you find so video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you the new equations filter editor, and that comes in 1.5 version, and you can find it filters and distort and equations. It doesn't come up particularly with very much, you've just got a range of coordinate systems, equation, and parameters, which you can use, like you can put into that equation a you can use a instead of a number like 2 or 0 0.2, etc. So that's just useful. You've got A, B, and C, and you can obviously just vary those. And if you've got them there, it will modify the effect. Also, you've got extend mode, so you've got repeat, wrap, and so on and so on. They're all pretty useful. And I'm going to go for wrap as this one, but you can obviously explore what you want to use, like with transparencies, very useful. Now you can use use this filter on layers as well, so you can really combine them in multiple ways and apply it multiple times, use it in colour channels and much more. Okay, I'm going to go with default one, so I'm just going to go x times 2 just to show you the start. So there you are, x times 2 or y times 2. You can obviously put, say, 20. So you can see you've got y times 20, and you can see you can create very quickly an interesting sort of pattern design. You can also go for x minus y, and y minus x, or x times 2, and so on and so on. There's a whole range. You don't have to use only y in the equation for y, so you can actually have x there as well. Sadly, there's no sort of uh, conversion tools to convert between the two of those. So if you actually go to polar now, you can use the r and t. You can't use x and y, unfortunately. So you can say do similar sorts of thing here, times 5, and you can create some interesting different designs there just by creating that. And again, this, this is where there's mirror and repeat and so on. You can see some slight variations there, as well as full, you can see the white background and zero transparency there. So I'm going to go back to wrap. Now, I'm going to go back to that and notice what happens then, it actually clears the equation. Sadly, there's no sort of save option, save a preset, save an equation. That'd be quite a useful addition in the future. And obviously maybe a little help with the sort of available commands, because there are a number of equations you can use. So you've got x, but you can always use max. So max, x, and y. So it will actually use that, say two times that. You can build up a whole range of different equations and that way. There's also average, so you can say average there. And there's, which obviously averages between the x and y. You can also use sine, so you can say like two times x minus y, and so on and so on. So you can create a vast range of different equations. Plus you can obviously add a lot more than that. So it's cosine three times x, and so on and so on. Apply that, once, obviously once you finish that. Now, just going to quickly show you on my web page, and there's a web page here, graphic extras, affinity photos. Right. There's a whole range of different options here. So I'm just say, going to go for, say that one. Just going to select that, just so, of course, it's probably going to fail to select, but you should be able to copy that into there. And you can see straight away, you've got that different design just by using that. And of course, you can then modify that value and set that to 100, or maybe reduce that down that way. X times that. Or maybe modify that again, like say you can put A or B, etc., into the equation. So or maybe make that 20 and so on so on. And there's other equations down here, you've got a whole range of different ones. And of course, there's lots more. You can add plus 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 plus. I don't know if there's a limit. There's probably a limit, I'm certain it says no, you can't do any more. Ah. There's one, I'm just gonna select that. And you can see you can create that type of design just by using. Uh, and there's also tan as well. So there's, there's another one there. Now, gonna go to the other one as well. Select that and select that. And you can see you create that sort of design. There probably there's probably some documentation around somewhere on this, all the various things. I mean there's probably a load more commands than I've found, max, average, noise. Etc. There's a range of different commands. So I say explore, and you'll find that you probably can create some really interesting designs, as well as I say combining them multiple times. So not just once, but you can sort of combine them again and again and again. Let's like say creating these commands 
use that and okay of course you can also use it to create some very abstract designs as well so not just for actual end result images it can be used for a sort of interesting pattern designs which of course once you've actually got that you can of course just go there and then just go to filters and go there and maybe use mirror and create some very abstract designs just by using that. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.